everyone, this is Dia Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve 4 into d square y by dx square minus 4 into dy by dx plus y equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. Four into d square y by dx square minus four into dy by dx plus y equals to zero. Since we know that dy by dx equals to or equivalent to d, here capital D is a differential operator. So we'll write the given equation in operator form, differential operator form. Otherwise, d square y. 4d square y minus 4dy plus y equals to 0. Now take y common from all these three terms. Then you'll get 4d square minus 4d plus 1 into y equals to 0. Which is in operator form f of d into y equals to 0. Where? Again, by comparing these two equations, we'll get f of d equals to 4d square minus 4d plus 1. So, now we are going to solve the given differential equation. Um, we are going to find the general solution to the given differential equation using auxiliary equation. So, here, what is the order and degree of the given differential equation. So let's see. So here the highest derivative is d square y by dx square. Right? So here the order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative. This is the highest derivative. And the power of this derivative is 1. So our degree will be 1. Okay? The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to replace differential operator d by this m to get f of m. Then you'll get 4m square minus 4m plus 1. Then our auxiliary equation will be 4m square minus 4m plus 1 equals to 0. Right? So now you can write this 4m square as 2m whole square minus 2 times 2m plus you can write this one as 1 square. So this is an a square minus 2, 2 a b plus b square form, right? Which is 2m minus 1 whole square equals to 0 form. Or you can just write this as 2m minus 1 into 2m minus 1 equals to 0 or you can factorize this, split this minus 4m as minus 2m minus 2m plus 1 equals to 0. Now take 2m common from the first two terms then you get 2m times 2m minus 1. Now take minus 1 common from the next two terms, you will get minus 1 times 2m minus 1. Minus 1 into 2m is minus 2m. Minus 1 into minus 1, minus into minus is plus, 1 into 1 is 1, right? Now, you are having 2m minus 1 in both the terms. So let's take 2m minus 1 common from the two terms, you will get 2m minus 1 times 2m minus 1. Equals to 0. Now equate 
each factor to 0. And 2m minus 1 equals to 0. From this, you'll get 2m equals to take this minus 1 to RHS, you'll get 2m equals to 1. From this, you'll get m equals to 1 by 2. Since you're having two factors here, that is the same factors or repeated factors, so from this you'll get m equals to 1 by 2, 1 by 2. So here the roots are equal, right? We know that if two roots are equal, that is m1 equals to m2, then our general solution will be y equals to c1 plus c2x since you are having two roots equal so we will write c1 plus c2x into e power this root into x okay what happens if you have three equal roots then you will get three terms under brackets that is y equals to c1 plus c2x plus c3x square into e power this root into x. Likewise, if you have 4, you need to include one more term under brackets. C4x for 4 into m1x. If you have 4. Okay. Fine. Now, the general solution is y equals to c1 plus c2x into e power 1 by 2 into x. Then y equals to c1 plus c2x into e power x by 2 will be the required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see in the next video. Until then, bye bye.